I've been using this Mercer Digital Multimeter for over 30 years and it still works. I also have this cheapy Harbor Freight one as a backup and it kind of works too. But my sister bought me this Kai Wheats uh, Digital Multimeter. Modern multimeters have a lot more feature than this old one. So I'm going to unbox this and check it out. That's coming up on Thrifty AV. The box is pretty generic looking, but the back says that this is a Kiwi's Digital Multimeter TRMS 6000. I'll have a link uh, in the description. This was a Christmas gift to me. This is not a review sample. They did not send this to me to review. Uh, so I'll be checking it out. Let's, let's get into this thing like right now. I had some mic issues during this unboxing, so this is an overdub. I broke the seal when I received this as a gift, but I didn't get into it at all. So this is what it looks like new in the box. Instructions are on top. Multimeter is in the baggie. Oh, and look, plastic to peel. Oh yeah. Unit actually has this little uh, place to hang uh, the multimeter if you want to hang it on the wall or something. It says it uses two AA batteries and the battery compartments held down with a screw. Okay, that lifts up and out. Make sure this powers on before I go any further. This actually came with batteries. I already put some in, so I'll just uh, set these aside, save them for later. Okay, here's my test leads. Of course, uh, red for positive, black for negative. It says cat 3,000 volts, cat 4, 600 volts. This is kind of cool. Uh, it shows you where to plug the leads in depending on what setting you're on. So there it changed. All right, with amps, I uh, went to the 10 amp instead of the milliamp. All right, if you hit this, uh, the backlight displays. That's nice. I like that. You hold it down. You hold that same button down. You get a little flashlight there. I went to check my footage, and this thing powered off. And I read about it here. And if there's no operation within 15 minutes, all instruments will turn off automatically. I've killed so many batteries with this old Mercer leaving it on. I think I'm going to like the auto power off. Okay, there's uh, protective caps on these test leads, so keep that in mind before you try to plug them in. And an unboxing wouldn't be complete without testing something, so let me find something I can test with this. Okay, here I have a universal power adapter. I have it set to 12 volts. And this is reading 12.1 volts. Mercer says 12.0 volts. Harbor Freight says 12.1 volts. Well, it's fluctuating between 12.0 and 12.1. Okay, I went back to the new one and now it's saying 12.09. I think I trust the Kawit's uh, multimeter over my 30 year old Mercer or the cheapy Harbor Freight. Now, I just maxed out this to 24.4 uh, volts, which is the most that this uh, power adapter will do. And this is showing 24.6 volts. Okay, I've switched to ohms and I'm hitting the function button, not really knowing what I'm doing. Okay, I wanted to see that. I think that indicates that it's going to give me a warning. Uh, this is good for continuity test. And it's giving me a warning. So that's what I wanted. Uh, for this test here. Let's actually put a resistor on this and measure a resistor. The Kiwitz measured a 1 kilo ohm resistor as 0.994 kilo ohms. That's pretty close. With the Harbor Freight, I was getting about 995 ohms. I want to check out the hold feature here. So I'm going to touch these against this resistor again. 
and I got 0.994. I'm going to hit hold. And now it just keeps the 0.994 on display until I release the hold. One thing this unit has that my old one doesn't is this thermocoupler, so I can actually measure temperature. Okay, I've plugged in the thermal probe, and now I'm going to hold the thermometer in between my fingers, and as you can see, the temperature is going up. This is Fahrenheit, this is Celsius, so it's reading 95 degrees Fahrenheit between my fingers here. Of course, I could stick this temperature probe in a computer case or anywhere else that I want to measure temperatures and that is a handy feature here that does not exist on my old Mercer. Another feature that's lacking on this old Mercer is non-contact voltage which I have it set to right now and the sensor for that is up here. Okay I'm gonna put this near a light switch and see what this does. Alright I have the no contact voltage sensor on uh, both these lights are off, but when I put it up here close to the light switch, I get a low. Turn on that light, I get a high. That one didn't trigger the high for some reason. That one definitely does. This old Mercer has been a workhorse for me for three decades, and I'm not going to throw it out. But I like a lot of the features found on this new Kiwi's multimeter including the backlit display, the fact that it indicates where I need to plug in my test leads. I like the temperature uh, sensor on it. I like the uh, no voltage indicator on it. I'll be able to see if voltage is running through wires without actually using test probes. Uh, the little flashlight on it's kind of gimmicky. I don't think I'm going to use this little flashlight very much, but it doesn't really hurt anything, so uh, bonus. Uh, if you are interested in uh, a multimeter like this one, I do have an Amazon affiliate link in my description. Of course, with affiliate links, I get a small commission at no additional uh, cost to the buyer. If you enjoyed this video, Slap that like button. Thank you to my patrons for supporting this channel. And remember, stay thrifty, everyone.